Hi, welcome to Nina in the Kitchen, where today I wanted to show you one of the easiest desserts that I know. Um, I'm using just half of a pound of puff pastry, and you can use store-bought if you want. This is homemade. What I'm going to do is wrap strips around these cream horn molds. Um, you put puff pastry around them. You can find those at culinary centers. You can also find them at, um, well, certainly online. I'm going to shape this into something that resembles a rectangle. I'm just going to take a pizza wheel and cut strips. I rolled this out to about a sixteenth of an inch, which is about three millimeters. So what you do is you just lightly overlap this and you just bring it up to the top and there is one cone. And these can be filled with anything. Whipped cream, whipped cream with fruit in them is delicious, maybe a berry. And on ones that end up like this where they're a little short, you can just put two ends together and just continue up until you have whatever size cone you like. Well, the easiest thing to do is leave a little bit of a border, just like this, so that when they come out of the oven, you have something to grab onto so you can twist these molds away from the pastry. But in the meantime, I'm going to put these into the refrigerator and um, let them get nice and chilly before they go into a hot oven. For a half pound of dough, I only got five of these horns rather than six, but that's fine, it's okay. You can do an egg wash on these or not, that's up to you. Um, what's nice about these is if you're doing something with puff pastry, you probably have scraps, and this is a great way to use them. These are nice and chilly, they're egg washed, they're going into a 425 degree oven, which is 215 Celsius. I'm going to guesstimate that they'll take about 15 minutes, and um, I'll let you know and I'll see you on the flip side. So this is just a simple matter of, and you, you can use a spoon for this, but pastry bags make it easier. You just fill the canal with whipped cream or whipped cream mixed with pastry cream. Mm. So you get the idea. Anyway, it's like a French cannoli. And like a cannoli, you can play around with the flavors. And you can even do a cannoli filling to put in here. They're really fabulous. I hope you try this. Very simple. Thank you so much for watching Nina in the Kitchen. Please like and subscribe. Bye, guys.